we want to sketch the graph of a function that satisfies the given conditions. The second derivative is less than zero on the intervals from negative infinity to negative three and from two to infinity. And f of x has a point of inflection at the point negative three, two. Let's go ahead and start by plotting this point here that has to be on the given function. So negative three, two would be here, and this is gonna be a point of inflection. Let's sketch a quick number line to organize the information here about the second derivative. The second derivative is less than zero or negative on these two intervals. So let's go ahead and plot negative three and positive two on the number line. So if this is negative three, let's just call this positive two. If the second derivative is negative on this interval here, that means the function must be concave down on this interval. And then it's also negative on the interval from two to infinity, so it's also concave down on this interval. Notice how it doesn't tell us what the concavity is in this interval here, but if we have a point of inflection at x equals negative three, it must change concavity to the right of this point. So let's go ahead and let this interval here be concave up. Now let's copy this information over to the coordinate plane. Here's where x equals negative three. And here's where x equals positive two. And we can satisfy all of these conditions if the function is concave down on this interval, concave up on this interval, and then concave down on this interval. And just to review, if a function is concave down, it would look something like this. And if it's concave up, it would look something like this. This function has to start being concave down and pass through this point. So maybe it would look something like this. But then between negative three and positive two, the function has to be concave up, maybe something like this. And then to the right of two, it's concave down again. So it might look something like this. So let's go ahead and check our work. From negative infinity to negative three, the function has to be concave down, which it is. Then we have a point of inflection at negative three, two, this point here. And since this is a point of inflection, we know that to the right of negative three, the function does have to be concave up. We went ahead and made this entire interval concave up here. And then to the right of positive two, the function has to be concave down, which it is. So we have satisfied all of the conditions as stated. I know sometimes these problems can be a little bit tricky, but if you take your time and analyze each of the conditions, I know you can do it.